Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight we are going to be making a mug cake and it is going to be German chocolate mug cake. So come along with me and let's get started. So we have found that mug cakes are extremely popular on our channel. Um, the ease is there, of course. It generally has few ingredients. It can be made quickly. It's also very good. Uh, we have found that a lot of our subscribers are practicing this lifestyle solo, and so it helps provide something for them to eat when their other family members are having dessert and they want to feel included. It's also very good for portion control if that is a concern for you. So for these reasons, and because they just taste super good, and who doesn't like chocolate, that is why we're going to be making this mug cake tonight. So let's go ahead and begin. First thing that we want to do with our mug cake is we need to make the German chocolate frosting because it needs to cook first and be sitting because the longer it sits, the more thick it will become. So in order to do that, we need to start with a small to medium microwave safe bowl and you want to have enough room in here even though it's not going to create a good deal of frosting because it will bubble and you want to be able to stir it without it overflowing. So I want to use a tablespoon of sucrine gold. You don't have to use sucrine gold, you can just use any type of natural sweetener that you prefer. I'm just using sucrine gold because in my mind it goes well with any kind of caramely type dish. So to that sweetener, we also want to add three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to stir that up, combining our sweetener and our heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to begin by placing this in the microwave for one minute. Then I'm going to get it out and stir it. So into the microwave for one minute. So I'm going to stir it making sure that our sweetener is starting to dissolve. Okay, I am going to place it back into the microwave for another minute and 15 seconds this time. So that's one minute and 15 seconds. And it's hot. I've got my placemat or my uh, hot pad and you'll see that as you stir it it's getting thicker and thicker and that's what we want and all of my sweetener has dissolved And right now it looks fairly on the liquid side, but this thickens as you let it sit and after you put your other ingredients in. So to our frosting, we're going to add a couple of things. Because this is German chocolate, we are going to be adding some coconut. And I have toasted my coconut here. And you just toast coconut in a dry pan it happens very quickly, so you need to keep an eye on it. I've inserted a clip showing you what I did. So if you would like to toast your coconut, all you need to do is put it in a dry pan on about medium heat and just watch it really closely because it happens very quickly. And then you will end up with a lightly golden brown coconut, which will bring out your coconut flavor for your German chocolate cake mug cake. So we want about a tablespoon of coconut. Then we also want three or four pecans. And I am using 
my butter roasted pecans, but you can use just regular chopped pecans. And I'm just going to chop these a little bit more finely. You still want to leave them chunky enough so that you can tell they're pecans and they don't blend in like a meal. So I'm gonna put those in. So I am going to go back to the microwave for about 30 seconds. I've removed it out of the microwave. It smells really good. It smells very German chocolatey, like you expect frosting to be. So I am going to let this sit and get a little cool while we are working on the cake part of our mug cake. Okay, you are going to need some kind of mug or ramekin. Mine is 12 ounces because this is going to be where we put our cake and we want it to be large enough to accommodate our serving. So we want to begin with an egg in here and you need a medium egg. If you are starting with a large egg, you need to remove some of the white because if you have too much egg, it will make the cake too puffy. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to use a tablespoon of unsweetened almond milk. Make sure that when you're buying almond milk, it says unsweetened on it, and you can use plain or vanilla, whatever you have. And once again, we are going to incorporate that. So now I'm going to be adding some sweetener. I'm going to be using whole earth sweetener this time, which is a blend of stevia and monk fruit. You can use whatever natural sweetener you prefer. And I want about a tablespoon of this. Since this is a chocolate mug cake, we need cocoa powder. And I'm just using Great Value brand baking cocoa. Um, CJ and I have experimented with more expensive cocos. And we like this. But of course, use whatever you enjoy. And I'm going to be adding a loose tablespoon of that so you don't need to pack it. And it takes a while for cocoa powder to incorporate. So I'm just going to leave it like that because it's going to incorporate more fully when we add our almond flour. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons of almond flour. I also want one quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Stirring and scraping the sides of the mug or ramekin. and you can see that it's starting to pull together and look like cake batter. So I'm going to be putting my mug cake in for 50 seconds. Every microwave is different. I know personally from my microwave, it takes 50 seconds for a mug cake to cook. So set your time between 45 and 60 seconds and you'll find out when your microwave is ready. And it's definitely better to undercook it and see instead of going the maximum amount of time because you don't want your mug cake to dry out. So I'm putting mine in the microwave for 50 seconds. Okay, 
was in for 50 seconds and mine is cooked and I'm going to let it sit here and cool for just a minute and then we are going to add our frosting. Hi baby. Hi. It's time for dessert. Yeah. We are having a mug cake tonight. It is German chocolate mug cake. I see. Oh, let me get this phone out the way. It looks like German chocolate cake. I used to like German chocolate cake. Although it wasn't one that something I would get all the time. Mm -hmm. It seemed like I used to buy uh, Mrs. Stouffer or somebody's mm -hmm. cake every once in a while. But it's really moist. And the frosting is good. This set up more than last night when you did the test. Yeah, you could even refrigerate it if you wanted it extra thick. And this has been sitting around for a while. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's good. It definitely think, thickens up more. I think people will like it. And it's looked like it was easy to make. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Maybe we're going to need to do a mug cake recipe book. Sounds great. So, anyway, good job. Sorry, mouthful. <laughs> That's a compliment. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the German chocolate cake mug cake. I know that we definitely have. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new content. We try and upload our new recipes every Sunday. We also have Keto Conversations on Wednesdays, and that's where we get together and discuss different relevant ketogenic topics. Sometimes we have keto food unboxings, and sometimes we just discuss what we eat. So definitely join us on that day as well. We are also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, and we release a lot of teaser photos and talk about things that we have eaten in the past, things that we are working on creating, and also it is a nice community where people can make the, the recipes that we have made in the past and share as well how they and their families are also enjoying our recipes. So definitely check us out there. And that is of course CJ's Keto Kitchen everywhere. If you need any recipe information for this recipe and any other recipe that we have made, that can always be found on our blog and that is cjsketokitchen.com. That is where this recipe will be and also any tips and tricks that we learned along the way making this recipe and all of our other recipes. So definitely head over there. And until next week, we hope that you will stay well and be well until then. Bye.